Good evening and happy Friday. My name is Tamara Bennett and for this week's discussion board, I chose the journal article entitled A Further Liberty in 1776, which is part of a larger work entitled Black Puritan, Black Republican, The Life and Thought of Lemuel Haynes, authored by John Salyan. I chose this journal primarily because I was unfamiliar with Lemuel Haynes. I was unfamiliar with the concept of a Black Puritan. And so it seemed an interesting prospect to research his life and um, what he added to the Puritan uh, congregational movement at the time. Uh, Lemuel Haynes was or is the first black man in the United States to be ordained a minister. He was the son of an African man and a white woman who unfortunately at the time uh, decided to give him up at his birth. She had him in secret and uh, essentially turned him over into indentured servitude, which was not uncommon for uh, persons of color at that time uh, living in New England to be in indentured servitude. He um, completed his indentured servitude and fought as a patriot in the American Revolution. And upon his return, became a prominent New England congregational minister. Uh, he's distinctive in his promotion of abolition and his anti-slavery sentiments in, in the sense that as a black man, uh, Lemuel Haynes didn't just promote the end of the slave trade, the end of slavery, but he also promoted a sense of republicanism for the newly freed uh, black man, that uh, black people or newly freed slaves were entitled to liberty and freedom and um, communal harmony, um, and that slavery in and of itself was a violation of natural rights. This was generally a unique sentiment among his contemporaries, such as John Edwards, um, who he based a lot of his um, sermons and preachings on, um, but this was he was somewhat different because many of his contemporaries believed that or feared that at the time when slavery were to end and uh, uh, African slaves were freed, w what do we do now? Um, do we have uh, areas and cities and communities overrun by individuals who may not necessarily promote uh, republicanism, who may, uh, I guess, the fear of being attacked by possibly a larger majority. Um, there were a lot of different fears and racial fears and um, discussed that many uh, new divinity uh, ministers, even though they promoted the evils of slavery, still feared uh, the result of their freedom. And so while many white contemporaries, many of his white contemporaries envisioned the end of slavery and the slave trade. Um, they also promoted um, the eventual removal or transition of newly freed slaves back to Africa. Um, and so in that sense, there was an unfortunate marrying of theology and racism. And to that extent, Lemuel Haynes stands definitely as a unique figure uh, because he not only promoted anti-slavery, used uh, the new divinity model in which to do so, um, in generally ex um, suggesting that um, with, with the good that God gives, there is evil, um, but that his hand also will, will deliver us out of that, um, and that slavery was that natural deliverance that they would be delivered, African slaves would be delivered out of that bondage, but unlike his contemporaries, took it a step further and believed that that life, that freedom, that liberty, uh, Blacks were entitled to it here on um, American soil and didn't have to be removed and sent elsewhere. Um, he is an interesting figure to do at least this preliminary research on, and um, I hope to actually take this a step further and look more into um, uh, Black Puritan ideals um, in early um, revolutionary era uh, New England. Thank you.